Erica from PSI Made This. I'm just checking my Instagram because I just Instagram that we're having our first ever Google Hangout. And I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do one for a while and I think this is the best time to do it. It's Halloween. It's my favorite time of the year. Um, I get the question all the time. My God, do you love Halloween? This is your holiday. It's getting creative making things. Um, oh, P.S. I don't have purple hair. It's just for Halloween, obviously. Um, but I'll get back to that in a little bit because this is for my Halloween costume this year. I um, am channeling a unicorn, Katy Perry. You might have seen some of my other Instagrams. But anyway, so back to the question. Um, I asked a lot of people, you know, I said, we're doing a Google Hangout. Ask me questions. What can we do? So the first question was, did you always love Halloween? And yeah. I always loved Halloween. Ever since I was a little kid, it's been my favorite holiday. Shocker. Um, I found these pictures. Actually, my parents had no clue that I was doing this, but last night my dad emailed me all these pictures, and then my mom texted me all these pictures, and I thought I'd share them with you. This is from when I was um, four years old. Can you see this? This is my brother and I. I'm a senorita. He's a uh, Spider-Man. I actually found eyeliner when I was four and I and I put the mascara around my eyes and his face. So as you can tell from an early age, I have been pretty crafty. This this was actually from Mexico because my mom used to live there. I think that's how it started. We reused, repurposed things that we had and we created Halloween costumes out of them. So I'm actually wearing my mom's necklace, which she still has to this day. I don't know if I stole this one out of her closet. Um, so that was a fun costume. I love my brother. Um, let's go through some other ones. Oh, this one. This was like Gypsy meets Pirate. I basically have on my mom's jewelry piled on. I made that belt. Can you see it? It's a skull belt. So that was cut out of felt and fabric. And I used her scarf for my head. Um, this is the tape that's Owen. <laughs> and here I am slaying my brother. No big deal. Um, I mean, I love Halloween. We've carved pumpkins ever since we were kids. My birthday's actually just a couple days before. So even for some birthday parties, we had um, birthday parties where I had pumpkin carving. We'd go to pumpkin patches. So I love Halloween. I love everything it's about. It's the time that you can channel your inner cray, as I like to say. Get creative, get a little kooky, and go wild. Um, so I thought today we'd answer some more questions and see what everybody had to say. If you're watching this now, you can also tweet some questions. But I'm going to start with some of the ones that I have now. Um, and I'm just obviously at PSMA. OK. So first question up, Erica, what are you being for Halloween this year? Funny you should ask that. Well, I happen to be wearing a purple wig now. So I am going to be this year, brrr, drum roll please, a unicorn. It's kind of a hybrid unicorn. It's like. My Little Pony meets Katy Perry meets um, a Lisa Frank sticker. If you don't know what a Lisa Frank sticker is, Google that now. Kind of like this magical, crazy world of stickers and trapper keepers. Everything's really bright and colorful. So, and also my friend Amy has been talking about unicorns for like the past four months. She calls it her spirit animal. So unicorns have just been uh, kind of on everybody's mind recently. So I thought it'd be a unicorn. So what that means is I had to make a horn and ears. I actually have a video how to on how to make this, which you can check out on Look TV. But basically what I did, I took a piece of scrap of paper. This is 12 by 12 gold paper. You can get at your local stationery store, craft store. Um, and I used double-sided tape, mounting tape, rolled and just stuck it together for the, um, for the cone. And then to give this swirly whirl factor, that's a technical term, swirly whirl. You can look it up in the dictionary, check Wikipedia, it's a legit word. Um, and I glue that around because it gives a little bit of dimension. Speaking about dimension, I um, taped it on with duct tape, gold. If you don't have gold duct tape, it doesn't matter because you're going to cover it with some fun feathers um, just because it makes it a little bit more magical. And I cut out out of paper some glitter ears, pinched them together, and taped them on. So look at this. I'm getting texts, and it's really distracting. Oh, gosh. Anyway, so here's my horn. But there's more. 
So I took gloves and I wanted to tie this in and I did long gloves. So this is cute. You've got the gloves and you've got the horn. And da 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 da. Obviously, I went out to get a purple wig. I can show you guys because I may or may not have been at a Halloween costume this past year. And let me find the picture. All right, here it is. Okay, ready? This is my Halloween costume. It's kind of hard to see, but what I did was I paired it with the bustier that I bedazzled, a pink tutu, some furry leg warmers, tights, some crazy makeup, and of course this wig. And I got another wig and I pinned it to my booty for a tail. So it matched my mane. So it was really fun. Um, and I was already at this past weekend at a party and I'm gonna probably do it again. I actually made another Halloween costume too. So aside from being the unicorn, I was inspired a few years ago by Heidi Klum who went to her own Halloween party, which I've been to several times, as a crow. She was this amazing fashionable crow. And she came in, did the red carpet, she was chic. And ever since I saw them, I wanted to be a crow. So, here you go. This is, hold on, let me remove my top hat. Um, this is a really easy way to do a crow. Again, the how-to, this is just the headpiece for it. The how-to for this crow is on Look TV. Um, this is simply made out of a visor, which is kind of hard to see. A visor, some more of that sparkle paper glued on feathers. This, mm -hmm. seriously, will take you 10 minutes to make, I swear. 10 minutes, $10, I swear. Um, and then we glued some fun little gems on there. And you can pair this with, you know, things you have at home if you have a feather dress. If you have any type of feathers, just put them on. If you don't, no big deal. Wear a black dress, black feather boa. And if you've got gloves, you know, use them to, um, just like we did for the unicorn, it just gives it more is more. Use these feather trim and you can glue it on to feathers and you can um, make, you know, arms to flap and fly and you can sing, I'm not a crow. Um, so that's the crow. And let's see if we have a picture. Got a lot of screens here. This is, um, let's see, where's the crow? Here we go. Oh, here was the crow that I was talking about that was Heidi Klum. Can you see that? This is Heidi Klum being the crow. So this was my inspiration right here. There. Okay. So that's the crow. Um, I love bird costumes, BT dubs, because they're really fun and easy to do. If you want to be a swan, you can kind of do the same concept with white feathers. Speaking about other birds, um, a couple Halloweens ago, I was a flamingo. Funny thing about it, people were like, oh, look, you're Lady Gaga, or you're Flamingo. Nobody could tell, but that's fine because, I mean, Lady Gaga is pretty rad. Um, these pictures are, again, my friend Sarah is going to kill me. She's watching. It's kind of hard to see. I have a leather jacket on because I'm a little hardcore. Can you kind of see that, what I did? I made this amazing pink feather headpiece, and I had to go all the way around the neck, and um, I did this huge... Tutu, feather boa, pink tights. It was fun. You can't really see. Kind of, right? It's hard to see on the iPad, but you get it. So, um, and last year, I was Carmen Miranda. Now, if you don't know Carmen Miranda, Google it. <laughs> or just take a look at this. So, Carmen Miranda was a flamingo dancer from the 50s. A lot of people know her from wearing just fruit on her head. People think it's Chiquita Banana. Two separate people, two separate people. Chiquita Banana was inspired by Carmen Miranda, or maybe it's the opposite. Whatever. Either way, check this out. This is me hailing a cab on my way to Heidi Klum's party last year. I wore a vintage dress, and that I had, I got years ago in Florida. I had never worn it before, and then I broke it out again. Check this out. I mean, it's kind of rad, right? I took two small baskets, and I glued all sorts of faux fruit in them. Some of them I spray painted with glitter blast spray from Krylon to give it a little extra pizzazz. And I made a bunch of necklaces out of beads. So for my um, bolero, I took a tutu, stretched it around the back.
back of my arms for this fun shoulder action. Brilliant, right? See, sometimes you got to be creative and think outside the box. Um, let's see, any other ones? All right, speaking of that, I have other ones from that year. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Here are a couple other ones. There's me with my friend Cleopatra, which is also a great Halloween costume. Um, if you want to be Cleopatra, there are a couple things you can do for that. Um, all you, this is my friend Nicole. Every year, Nicole's every year, without a doubt, Erica, I need help with my costume. Nicole and about 50 other of my friends. But it's kind of come this tradition with Nicole now every year. I promise, and I do help her. So this year, last year she said she wanted to be Cleopatra. So um, I said, okay, get a black wig, and you can order one of these gold situations for the top of your head, and we'll do the rest. So Cleopatra is a really easy one um, because you probably have most of the stuff at home. If you get a long, kind of flowy dress, I have this amazing vintage necklace that I got that I gave her, and I gave her a snake bracelet, and we just did really dark eyeliner for Cleopatra. That's kind of all you need. So your headpiece, um, if you're really feeling crafty, you can use gold beads, you can string your own, or you can take necklaces and drape them on top of your head, too. That's a cute idea. And Cleopatra's super chic, too. I like when people are chic, not sexy and slutty. Yes, I said slutty, because I feel like Halloween is the time where everybody thinks, I should dress slutty. Don't do it. Now, um, moving on. All right, next question, right? Do we, do we cover that? So that's what I'm being this year. My Little Pony, Unicorn, oh, and BT Dubs, I may or may not also, I found this, I'm going to make some type of um, mane that lights up, I, I started it, I bought this, and I started adding in some ribbon to it, this is going to go, mm -hmm. is this lighting up, are you getting this, is this happening, can you guys see that it's lighting up, this is going to be part of my mane, yeah, it's next level, for sure. Go big or go home. That's what I say. Speaking about home, I was home last night. And because I don't stop ever, because I'm not normal, I went to the grocery store because I was like, oh, I need toilet paper. I need some Clorox stuff. I need to clean. I figured, wait, here are some apples. Here's some caramel. Hmm. Let's make some apples. Um, yeah, so that's what I did last night. Caramel apples are one of my favorite things. Um, it's kind of like people ask, and the reason why I'm segueing into this now is the next question is, Eric, what's your favorite Halloween candy or treat? So a little bit about my personal world. I'm trying to get comfortable here. I've got a bar between my legs. Um, so when I was a kid, for uh, every single year, my Aunt Libby used to come to our house every year for Halloween, and she would bring my brother and I caramel apples with little nuts around them. Um, it was a tradition. It still is. They just there are certain things I think when you grow up that become just a staple in your world and just put a smile on my face. So when Halloween comes around, it not only makes me think of just what I love doing, but it makes me think of my aunt. How every year she did the caramel apples, which I may or may not have already had a couple of. But I thought this year I'd make my own. So last night when I saw the caramel and the apples, I um, made some of these. They need to. All right, I'm kind of working this here. Okay, you guys ready for this? So typically caramel apples, well, you've seen candy apples too. Those are the ones that get really stuck in your teeth. I like the caramel ones better. So what I did was I dipped my apples in caramel. Oh, and I may or may not have had some cereal. I bought one of those packs. And just like these, these are magically delicious. What I did was I used my blender and I crushed up the Lucky Charms and I encrusted them with Lucky Charms and I put the marshmallows on top. Because this is a small box, it didn't have tons of the marshmallows, which is a bummer. But, good thing because I had the variety pack, I had a Trix one too. Um, also, BT Dubs, I have not seen Trix since I was a kid. I guess that's why they say tricks are for kids, they're not normal colors anymore. Did you know this? Look, they're like swirled colors now. Who knew? I think they're super fun. And I also did a Cocoa Puffs one. This one's rad. Look at this. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And lastly, one of my faves, oldie but a goodie, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I mean, tell me this doesn't look good. They're all sugar-free, fat-free, gluten-free. 
No, they're not. Um, but anyway, so I thought this was fun. Let me take a look at them. These are like, if you're having a party, this is a sure win. I'm just saying. And you know what? You should Instagram them and pin them and all sorts of things because that's the whole beauty about like our lives today. Sometimes I make stuff. I don't end up eating it because it's just too pretty. But I probably will have one of these later. I'm not sure which one I will have. Maybe I'll slice them and share them with everybody else here. And so I think this is something fun to do. Um, so yeah, get involved. And also, you know, there are different things that you can do with your apples. After you dip them in caramel, you can use anything from like pistachios to sprinkles, coconut. Um, I I mean, even like mini marshmallows is fun. So anyway, so that that's my apple tip. Got sugar all over my hands. Speaking about sugar, also, oldie but a goodie. Who doesn't love a candy bar? My favorite thing about these, just FYI, they are, hold on, let me do my trick. Can you read that? It says Erica's number one candy corn. Get it? Erica's favorite candy corn? All right, anyway, all right, moving forward. Next question. Erica, I want to add wings to my costume. How can I DIY a pair? Um, that's great. Wings are awesome. Whether you're a fairy, you're a butterfly, I feel like a lot of things have wings. Um, so if you don't want to buy them, really easy. Foam core you can pick up at your local art supply store or a Staples. You can use an X-Acto knife, cut out the desired shape, um, and you can use feathers, you can use glitter, some glue and elastic to make little feathers that go on your back. Um, and this is apparently how you dance with feathers, too, at a party. Um, wings. All right. So there we go. Wings. Next question. All right. Erica, I want to dress up as a fashion icon. Who should I be? That's a great question. Let's see. Um, you know, there's so many people out there who I love, and I think they're so recognizable that you should go with. One of the things is that if you're going to dress up as someone, you want people to recognize you. You don't want to be like, uh, who is that? Who are you? Because uh, then it's that awkward moment. So I think people like Coco Chanel, Karl Lagerfeld, Donatella Versace, Rachel Zoe, even my friend Leandra, the man, uh, man repeller, I think people will know who you are, and there are really easy ways to do that. So let me see. I think I have some pictures here. Did I... I tried to be prepared for the questions. Let's see what we have. Um, hold on. What do we have? Uh, here we go. Our fashion icons. All right. So let's see. Take a look at this. So this is my dear friend Carl, Uncle Carl. Now, Carl's really easy to pull off. What you want to do, you want to do black suit, white shirt, black tie, sunglasses. You want to do a white wig, pull it back in a pony, black gloves. Oh, and also, you need to get Carl's little kitty, too, the white kitty. Um, so that's a great one. Uh, next, let's see, Donatella. Here's Donatella. Um, Donatella and I actually have crafted together. True story. You just need a long ass blonde wig. You pout your lips like this and you wear a tight dress and you try to speak an Italian accent. I don't really know what kind of accent that was, just go with it. All right, the next, I mean, Coco, done. Black, pearls, long cigarette, done. Cheek. All right. Um, Zo, boho, easy, breezy, you know, big sunglasses, hat, fur vest, something long, drapey, and just say things like, um, what does is, what is Rachel say? Um, bananas, bananas, stuff like that. Um, all right. So that's that. Cool. Well, good luck with that costume. Um, send us your pics. All right. More questions coming in. Erica, this summer I've made your embellished shorts from PSIMadeThis.com. Why, thank you. I love them. Awesome. Is there a way to incorporate into a costume? Totally. What other projects in your site could be a part of a costume? Great question. Um, all right. So. What, what can I say? These shorts were one of my favorites. So these were inspired by, this was a, a um, J Brand collaboration with Christopher Kane. And I love these shorts too, but I hear you. It's like, what do you do with them after the summer? Well, I feel like something cute you could do, you could maybe wear like these shorts, um, possibly with, we did the floral 
hippie headband. I'm, I'm doing this all at once. I'm not going to try these on. Um, and you could do maybe like a lacy type of shawl. And I feel like you could just be like a flower girl, hippie child. Um, you could do sunglasses. You could be Janice, uh, Janice, Janice Joplin. Um, you could also do in the book. I don't know if you have um, the PSI made this first book. Get it? First book. There may or may not be a second one coming out next year. Um, we also did the hippie headband here. So get the book because this shows you the how to, how to do one. Um, and I have kind of one here. This just uses a ribbon and some fabric to do flowers. Pinch squares, needle thread stitch. Super cute. So yeah, use those. Um, use the shorts. Be a hippie, boho. I mean, you could even do like Kate Hudson from Almost Famous. Um, oh, I'm getting texts coming in. People want to know. I, oh my God. OMG. I love that you're doing a Google Hangout. Thanks. I'll say anonymous. Um, anyway, so the next question, uh, back to the question. Oh, what other projects can we do? Well, we have a lot of things that we can do from the site. Um, let's see. Let me pull up some other things. Now, we have had DIY projects up for over three years now. There have been so many. So um, I'm just thinking of a couple. This is a great thing. Black Swan, again, you know I love feathers. I love birds. This is a great project. If you're going to make this feather skirt, you could be Black Swan. It's kind of glaring, so it's hard to see. But um, this is something that you can actually wear after Halloween. And you, it's, it's a great fashion item, too. So that's a great one. Um, you could do, what's this? I can't see. I'm getting things more questions. YouTube comment. Oh, and live. This is really happening. Okay. I made a flapper headband, but I need a good shirt. What can I make? A good shirt. Oh, okay. Well, personally, if it were me, I don't know that I'd make a shirt. I'd do a dress because flappers wore dresses. And when I hear flapper, I think tassels. We actually did a project on the site you should check out. It was inspired by Oscar de la Renta, where he did tassel dresses. Simply, you're going to take tassels and pin them on. If you want, you can stitch them on, but you can also leave, um, you can use safety pins and pin them on two small ones, or sewing them, you could use a hot glue gun. It all depends on how comfortable you are with these tools. But flappers equal tassels. So if you want to do a t-shirt, that's cool, but I really think you should get a dress I'm sure you have something in your closet. If you don't, you can go out to, you know, like a Forever 21. And you can find a tank dress that's like 15 bucks. Um, or just get like a men's t-shirt and cut off the sleeves and make it into a tank long thing. So good luck with that, my viewer friend from YouTube. Thanks for chiming in. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled DIY questions. All right. So other things from the site. Okay, so we talked about the shorts. Yes. Oh, another favorite. I am obviously a unicorn, my little pony, whatever, crazy person. Another idea, if you don't want to do a bustier, you could also do this lace tank. Are you guys getting this? Get a tank top, put some lace over it, spray paint with different colors for a rainbow bright kind of crazy creature. That works too. I like that idea. Um, back to the floral crown, I showed you that. The how-to is on the site. Faux flowers twisted to make the crown. Um, you know, this is also could be like Mother Nature. I love that idea too. This is also one of my favorite things. It's so simple. It. How many times have you gotten a dress? You've had to go on to whether your bridesmaid or just like a function, a graduation, wedding, whatever, and you have a dress that you probably will never wear again. My hand is raised. I love my best friends. I love being a bridesmaid. I will never wear those dresses again, and I think you know it. So, what can you do? Chop it off right there, add a little laciness, and this can be done into doing like a black swan. You could do, um, you know, this could maybe be Audrey Hepburn. So these are things that you actually want to do besides from Halloween. So that's one of the things, it, dr it drives me crazy when people think that this is just for Halloween. Sometimes I make things and I keep them for my real life, like this hair I might be keeping for a little bit. Just kidding. Okay, moving on. Next question. Pumpkins. Oh, funny story. My We call my mom. Every family's a little weird and quirky. We all call my mom pumpkin. Or the pumpkin pumpkins. I swear. 
So anyway, um, this one goes out to my mom. I still need to decorate a pumpkin. Any ideas? Yeah, totally. Um, well, funny you say that yesterday we actually did a pumpkin um, event. If you go to our uh, Facebook page, you could actually see a whole album. Just um, facebook.com backslash PSA made this. Um, we had all of these little kids. Oops, hold on. Where are my pumpkins? Here we go. We had all these little kids come to decorate pumpkins, um, and we worked with GE Garages. If you don't know what that is, they come into a space. They do. They've done pop-ups all over the country where they bring 3D printers, CNC machines. They do um, laser cutters, and it's insane the things that you can make. So what we did was we think about Mr. Potato Head. We actually sent in files, Illustrator files that they cut out on their laser cutter sunglasses smiles oh my god it still smells like the ugh, it still smells a little bit mustache so these are all can you hear this these are all acrylic noses so we put these on pumpkins I get it not everybody has a laser cutter at home is gonna be cutting them out but I just wanted to share with you guys because it was super cute um, and we had all these kids there too, and they absolutely loved it. So I just wanted to show you guys some pictures. Go to our Facebook page, or you can see some here um, on my um, really shiny iPad. This is one that I made. Oh, wait, the tiara. Are you guys getting this? This was the tiara I cut out, and then I put gems on it for the pumpkin. I love this so much, I can't even take it. Cute, right? I'm doing this like. Look at this. I'm trying to sway up oh, wrong way. This kid was awesome. This kid's name was Charlie, and he was British, and this was his pumpkin. He begged me to take a picture of it. I loved him. Another cool one. Oh, and then this one, I don't know if you've seen this. Maybe if you went to psmathis.com, you'd see this one. This is our string art pumpkin. This idea came to me when I was lying in bed. That's normally when either I'm in the shower or in my bed before I go to bed, that's when I have most of my ideas, like everybody else, right? Right. So I don't know why, but I was thinking about string art. And I thought, let's do a pumpkin that you don't have to carve. Because carving is just messy, it's dirty, and it's and, and I you know I like doing different things um, every year. And I had never seen this before. I thought it was pretty cool. So what I did was I got a pumpkin, I got some nails. Um, you know, you'll need the type of nails that are pretty thin. These ones are about um, a half an inch. Can you see this? Ooh, I'm trying to get this camera thing. Ooh, I like this nail polish. This is a new color. I did this. Um, I did this yesterday. It's called what is this one? This is an Estee Lauder color. Um, it is wait, elegant, elegant. What is it called? Hold on, here it is. Enchanted garnet. See, I knew it started with an E. Sorry. Side note. I have really bad ADHD, but either way, I love this color. Um, so anyway, speaking about things I love, I love this pumpkin. We used nails and a pumpkin. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the nails and you're going to hammer them in the top all the way around. See that? Give it a little spacing and you're going to do it around the bottom. See that? Now, you do not want to push these nails in because what you're going to be doing is tying a knot around one of the nails with string. You can get this at the hardware store. I used a fun pink and orange for this pumpkin here. And you're going to knot it around one of the nails twice. And you're simply going to go up and down, up and down. And then use a contrasting color as well. It's kind of one of the things that you can't mess up on. Anything you do looks cool. So I use two colors. We also have a pumpkin. It's not here right now because we send it to Vogue. Sorry, I just dropped that name if you want to pick it up. Um, as well. So you can use a bunch of different colors as well. Um, all right, people are laughing at me here at the office, which I'm used to, so no big deal. So this was a fun pumpkin I did. Um, other things you can do with pumpkins, I don't have it here now. Again, Anna Wintour asked me to send it to her, but I have a picture of it. I'm not kidding, it really is. It's a Vogue, um, which you'll see later. So this was our pumpkin that we did with sequins and all sorts of bright fun things and puppy paint. Let's see. It was inspired by Gwyneth Paltrow's Prada dress that she wore um, to the Met. Met Gala, yeah, this year. It was this beautiful silver dress. Um, hold on, let me see. I'm going to 
She wore this dress. She looks stunning. Um, I mean, Gwyneth Paltrow, can we just stop and talk about her? Either you love her or you're like, eh, I love her. I love her. I love Goop. I really love everything about her. I just think she's rad. Um, anyway, she wore this. This is what she wore. Can you see it? This was my whole inspiration collage for the project that we did. Silver's metallics, the dress. Anyway, so the pumpkin was really inspired by this. Imagine like Little Mermaid um, meets just this metallic warrior. And by warrior, I mean just like chic master G. Funk. Um, so here we go. So this is the top of the pumpkin. And what I used are thin pins, not to be confused with the nails. And we just stuck them in. Can you see that? I know it's a little pixelated, but again, this is something fun and different, and I think that, you know, taking chances and taking risks, whether it's for Halloween or your everyday life, that's what it's all about, and the top is with puppy pink. See that little box? Raise your hand if you love puppy paint and you still use it. I'm just kidding. I can't see you guys, so I just wanted to see if you really did it. I hope you did. I don't even know how many people are watching. Oh, wait, I do. 500 million people. Wow. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is insane. Okay. So what are some fun makeup ideas? All right. Um, I think makeup is a huge part of Halloween. Um, for Halloween, you don't need to be an expert. You just need to have some fingers and hands that work. Um, and I know some people get intimidated about doing makeup, but it's really easy. Um, I think that fun eyelashes are great. Here are metallic ones. These can be applied. I got these at a fun um, store actually in Austin years ago. But nowadays, I feel like everybody sells fake eyelashes. Actually, there are brands that even sell them with the adhesive stick already on them. I believe it's Revlon. But um, a lot of brands, if you go to the store, sell them. Makeup Forever, MAC, a lot of people have them. The drugstores have them too. And I know they can be intimidating, but sometimes um, they're, they're not really bad. All you do is you use some self adhesive glue, you put it on a little bit, put, use a little bit of glue on the horn that comes in one of these little bottles, you let it dry, get a little sticky for maybe about 10 seconds, and you simply place it on. Um, and also, I think it's really key to have fun colors. Now, for my Halloween costume this year, obviously I'm a unicorn, so I did a lot of crazy eyeshadow. One eye I even did in a star, a la Kesha. Um, you kind of can't go wrong. I think that more is more for Halloween. Um, and also, speaking of that glue, another fun thing to do is, it doesn't matter what you are, you could be a, um, you could be a unicorn, you could be a bird, you could be even like Poison Ivy, um, which actually is one of my favorite costumes to do as well. And I feel like makeup is really fun to add. These are just, um, this is confetti. It's metallic confetti that I got from Party City. And you can use your eyelash glue, and you can put a little bit on that and stick it on there. So, um, even though I was just saying Poison Ivy, that actually is one of my favorite costumes. You know who did a really good Poison Ivy um, was Kim Kardashian. I'm a, I'm a Kardashian fan, I have to say. Um, not many people can pull off this look she did. I don't know if this was last year or the year before, but I'm just saying, sexy, right? This is something that, I mean, we might not have the booty or the body, but we can still do this. I mean, getting a um, bustier or a dress and just getting ivy, getting green ivy from the craft stores and simply gluing it on is easy. Red wig. She had some crazy, crazy, crazy eyes with leaves. I mean, you could totally do that as well. Um, even putting some ivy in your hair definitely works. So this is one of my favorite costumes as well. Um, between her, let's see, I've also, you know who did what, well, I mean, I talked with the crow um, with um, Heidi. Miley Cyrus, okay, give me a second. She did a great one. I don't know when this was, but whoa, cleavage. Look at this is kind of like a whole like uh, Dia del Muerte type of situation that she did. Um, it's kind of fun, and I mean, she's kind of taking it to the next level, but I like it with the makeup. So this one's fun too. Um, I feel like a lot of girls right now are kind of channeling that Frida with the hair, the makeup. Um, if you can't do it, ask your friends. Um, what are friends for? Okay. Um, what are some last minute costume ideas? All right. Well, I feel like this is the last, this, this is always, everybody's last minute. Everybody in the world's last minute. So, um, I just got maybe four text messages today from friends. What should I be for Halloween? Oh, funny you asked that. 
And can I come raid your craft closet? Can you help me make something? I mean, every year. Uh, but anyway, some last minute things. Um, here's some things I was thinking about. You can take clothes, plain clothes, like a plain sweatshirt, tank top, long sleeve shirt, um, and white pants, almost like, imagine yourself like white like your canvas, and splatter paint it, and you could be a Jackson Pollock painting. Done. That's pretty easy. And I'm, I'm giving you stuff like light touch DIY stuff. So that's a really easy one if you want to be a Jackson Pollock painting. Um, I kind of think it's cute. I've always wanted to be a tin woman, and I never have maybe next year, who knows. I think getting a funnel just from um, you get from Target, from a, a kitchen store, get a funnel, spray paint it silver, and you can simply, um, you can glue it to a headband, hot glue it to a headband, or you could punch holes, tie it around your head, and getting a silver dress, and I think just some like metallic makeup on your face, easy tin woman, and it's kind of cute too. Um, you know, I had faux flowers here before. I think Mother Nature is really cute. I help I helped someone with their costume before, and getting faux flowers from the craft stores are really great. And you can do everything from pinning them all over your clothes. Mother Nature about flowers and leaves. You could even <laughs> you could even get a, a baby too. I kind of like that because you're like Mother Nature. Get it? Um, that's super cute. Um, oh, and I feel like a lot of people this year have been asking me about the election and should they do a political costume. Here's the deal. I don't talk politics. If you want to go down that road, sure, great. For instance, I know one person is being a binder full of women, so you could do that. Um, how do you? How are you a binder full of uh, binder full of women? Oh, and if you're not familiar with this, this was the um, Romney thing that he said at one of the debates. Um, so if you want, you can get a binder, go through all your fashion magazines, your catalogs, and you can cut them up, decoupage them to a binder, open it up. You can have them coming every which way, punch two holes, wear it around your neck, binder full of women, done. Also, they, his Big Bird comment, that got a lot of buzz. Um, one of my friends is actually going to be Big Bird this year. So I'm lending her this amazing yellow frock that I have, and we got a yellow um, feather headpiece for her and she's doing a feather boa, so that's her nod. These are light touch DIYs. A lot of people are so freaking last minute, it's like they don't spend the seven months I do thinking about their costume. I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, those are some ideas. Um, I think that you know Halloween is one of those times where anything goes, really. I mean, I've got purple hair. I'm into it. Um, any other questions? Any other thoughts? I mean, I had fun. This was my first Google Hangout. I hope you guys had fun too. If you have any other questions, do me a favor. You can tweet me at PSI Made This. Um, make sure to follow me everywhere from Pinterest to Instagram and all that. Have a happy Halloween, and I can't wait to see what you guys make too. Definitely send all your pictures, hashtag PSI Made This on Instagram. And also, you should go to PSI Made This.com where you can also upload your DIYs because it's a brand new feature that we just launched. So click share your DIY stories and please upload everything that you guys made for Halloween because we can't wait to see it and share it with everybody else. So happy Halloween.